Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to make a coin system in scratch top down shooter the series we started this is the second part let's get started first you have to make a variable coin called coins collected or cash for all sprites hmm, put it here then make a sprite duplicate of enemy then make a costume for it or first delete all the scripts and delete all the variables like animate for the sprite let's go to costume and delete the hands make it look like a coin Not a good artist. So I'm making something like this. Now it's mid. We can edit that afterwards. Name it coin. Then make when the green flag clicked, hide. Then I start as a clone. Go to X and Y on zero zero or. Point in direction and D, and then repeat until touching player. Turn 15 degree, and then delete this clone. And then put a um, change cash by one. And then go to stage and set the cash to zero. And make three variables enemy, enemy last x for all sprites, enemy last y for all sprites, and enemy last no need of that variable, enemy last x and last y, make them hidden for all sprites, and then go to enemy. Then put it here when it's we delete it. Set enemy last x and set enemy last y to x position and y position. Then create a clone of coin. Then go to coin and put enemy last x instead of go to x0 and enemy last y2 instead of go to y0 now point the direction and the end this is good then put it here show and go to front here let's see if it works The coin is rotating. Second and it will be deleted. This is looking good. Now this is working perfectly and then put here change cash by 10 not 1 now let's see 
now we'll make a readers for this let's make a new sprite called um variable display let's make a assume name one win vector mode then you need all the numbers from 1 to 9 or oh, 1 to 9 and 0 let's make it them one then two they should be also named the number they contain a three will contain three and etc four five six seven eight nine and then zero not ten it should be named zero and it should be after 9 not before 1 or it will make mistakes then go to shift and when the green flag clicked repeat to now make a variable clone number for this sprite only and another variable clone id for this sprite only and set clone number to zero repeat um, 10 repeat 10 change clone number by 1 and uh, create clone of myself Now let's clone of myself and put here a hide. Then when I start as a clone, show and then set clone ID to clone number. And then forever if and else if. length of mm, the first variable will be score is less than clone id then um, hide or else switch to costume letter clone id of score Then also put here a move 10 steps and then set its position. I'm setting it here. Let's see if this works. Then uh, now it's one. Let's see if it works with um, multiple digits. 3 4 5 and 6 and then 7 8 9 10 now it's not working with 10 so put here a special costume and then show so now it is working with 10 then 11 and 12 13. The line spacing is too much, so let's put here 5 and check it out. Or set the go to stage and set score to already now 120. Now it's or too sticky, so make it 8. Now this is looking perfect. Let's also put here a uh, show score. Score. 
and put it behind the origin or the center of costume then name it score and also make one for cash and name it cash then go to scripting then uh, make another variable clone type and for the sprite only make it hidden and if put here yeah, when I started on if clone type is equal to 1 then put here as a script clone type 2 set clone type 2 1 then also put here a set clone type 2 2 set clone number to 0 and then repeat 2 change clone number y1 and just 2 clones or just uh, one clone leave this and put here set clone number to one and duplicate the script clone type to two show then delete this thing also you can delete the clone number to one as it is not required here show forever or remove forever to move a show show and then switch to a tune score and put this before the script mm, set no type to one and before that let's see if it works change the position this is will this will be good now let's see put this motion block there now this is good working good now the same thing for the cache counting duplicate the whole script then that clone type 2 3 and uh, here clone type 2 4 if the clone type is equal to 3 it will switch to a costume cache and if 4 then it will just replace these score with cache everything is as same as that just change the y by minus 10 and put it here and also make this minus 193 what was my position and 155 this is looking good but you can design it later as you can see the cache increased and you can make the variables hidden cache and score because you can see them at the left corner of your screen here and you can score set score to zero and save the file thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial